What's up guys, Ryan here. So I wanted to put together a quick video about doing Amazon merch niche research. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about it lately. I guess uh, more and more people are finding out about Amazon merch and getting approved and entering the 10 tier. Also, I just kicked off my Amazon merch mini course, which you can register for with the link in the description right there. So go check that out if you want some tips from a tier 8,000, soon to be 10,000 seller who's made uh, over $40,000 in royalties in their time on Amazon Merch, AKA me. So anyways, guys, this is how I kick off my Amazon Merch research process. I don't know if this is gonna blow anybody away or if it's just like well-known stuff. Um, I'm pretty well-versed with Amazon in general, by the way, if you're new to the channel because I've been selling on Amazon FBA for as long as I've been doing Amazon Merch. If you follow my passive income reports, I got my first Amazon Merch profits the same month I got my first Amazon FBA profits. Back in 2017, I think it was March. So been at it for a while. Anyways, what you're seeing right here is the portal that I use to start my product product research process. It is a uh, page on merchinformer.com. It's merchinformer.com slash merch Amazon listings. I'll put a link in the description, but I always start right here. And whatever comes to mind, now you can pay like for instance Merch Informer to generate ideas for seed keywords and they'll try to detect uh, high demand, low competition niches, but it's not necessary. Like you don't have to spend money on research for, for uh, niches or product ideas. Absolutely don't need to. Um, so why don't we go ahead and, I, actually you know what, someone was just uh, messaging me on Facebook asking me questions about a specific niche and I will uh, key that in. So the niche was my favorite cat calls me mom. And then I click search t-shirts. So what this is going to do, I misspelled it right there. What this does is it will only show Amazon merch related uh, results. It filters out anything that's not merch by Amazon. So they were asking me why they were struggling to find their product, um, which I didn't struggle to find their product, but they were asking also like why this is not working, like why it's not generating sales and wondering if it was related to like the design or the title or the bullets or just the keywords in general. Now, first and foremost, like how do we evaluate whether or not this is a good niche to target? And when I say niche, I don't mean I don't mean like cat lover shirt, you know, like you can't, you can't target niches that broad anymore. It's Amazon's too flooded with print on demand products to be targeting broad terms like cat lover. You know what I mean? That's not going to get you anywhere. You're going to be buried on like page 50 from doing that. So this niche that we're looking at right here to start, I just want to show you that I use a browser add on called DS Amazon quick view. It's free. All right, and what it does that makes it so valuable is it puts these numbers in the search results underneath any listing that's ever sold. Okay, so first of all, DS Amazon Quick View. Download this Chrome extension. This Chrome extension, I cannot live without. If they turn to a paid model tomorrow, I'd be their first customer, seriously. Um, but it's free, so I mean, just go download it. Uh, you don't need, I'll put a link in the description, but I mean, you just Google it, um, just like I just did. And what this does, once you install it in Google Chrome, again, it puts this number. Now, what is this number? This is the BSR, the best seller rank. This number is an indicator of how well the product is selling on Amazon. Now, every category on Amazon has a unique best seller. So BSR is unique to each category, meaning like this one right here, BSR 3,154,398. There could be a BSR of the exact same number for a different product in a different category, just so you guys know to clear that up. Also, it's worth noting that the lower the BSR, the better. All right, so low BSR means more sales. And when you see a BSR of like 3.1 million, you're probably looking at like one sale every other month. So, you know, at $17.97, you're probably making $3 around like, uh, $3 and 30 cents per sale getting six sales a year. So whatever that is 3.33 times six, 
you're making $20 a year from that design. Anyway, so it's okay to target uh, designs that sell in very low demand, like one, to, one sale every other month's not ideal, right? But that's still gonna make you money, just so you know. So saying that like, my favorite hockey player calls me mom, that's getting a sale every other month, give or take, all right? And over here, my favorite hockey player calls me grandma. Same general BSR, 3.6 million, probably getting one sale every other month. That is validation. All right, that shows that these at least sell or have sold. Now, when you don't see a BSR tagged on the result, that means it's never sold. And there's only one listing showing up that's like truly matching the listing uh, that says my favorite cat calls me mom. And that's the shirt that this person asked me to evaluate for them. So if you're selling the only shirt on Amazon it's, it's not the best approach. It's not that you can't be clever and come up with stuff. Like the, uh, my best selling, I just released my income report for March, uh, 2019. So a couple months back, my best selling Amazon merch shirt, right hand to God was a unique idea. It was a play on words though, related to game of Thrones. So it was in the public perception, even though I didn't like type game of Thrones into my t into my listing anywhere. Like it was a play on words that got indexed on enough like keywords related. And also again, once people started finding it, like if you're not familiar with how Amazon's algorithm works, when you start to build sales history, they will reward you. So if you're converting customers, if, if eyeballs on your listing are generating clicks and generating sales, you will be rewarded. So as a result, like over time, this listing that I came up with on my own, has been climbing, climbing, climbing. And I'm not getting rich off of it, but it was my best seller and it brought in quite a bit of money, hundreds of dollars in a month. And you, I mean, whoever's watching, you, you guys watching this video, you could have thought of it. I mean, I don't know if you watch Game of Thrones or know what it is, most people do. Um, you know, it was just a play on words of one of the Game of Thrones quotes in the Game of Thrones font. Could not have been easier. And just earlier this week, I released another video about how on my second Amazon merch account, I went and I did, oh, let's look it up actually. This is a great example. Okay, so before I leave this screen, Another thing to point out, Amazon tells you how many search results show up in that category for those keywords. It says 32 results. Now that's obviously not perfect, right? Because it's showing us designs that aren't matching exactly. Like my favorite cat calls me mom is this. There's only one of those. The next one is my favorite people call me cat dad. And then it's hockey player and vet tech. So though you have to actually do a little bit of eyeballing to know, but let's just say there were five other shirts of my favorite cat calls me mom and they had bsrs of two million if you have a bsr of like two million you might get like one sale a month give or take one sale every five weeks like those shirts if they're evergreen they're just to me personally i think that's just fine like i have eight thousand slots on amazon merch if i can upload a design it's going to get me one sale a month and generate three dollars and forty cents at 17.99 what it's close it's around there I like to sell it like $17.99. And maybe when I initially upload, I'll price it lower. But once it gets a sale and I know it's stuck in the catalog, I'll just up the price. If I can do that, those you just got to build your evergreens generating $3.50 per sale. You know, just keep building. Anyways, uh, if there was more than one and a couple of them had BSRs indicating sales, that means that like this is a design that people in the public are aware of its existence. And while not many people are buying it, some people are buying it. But you don't want to be the first person with like a brand new design that no one is is typing in. When I say typing in, I mean literally saying my favorite cat calls me mom. Because if no one is searching that term, then how are they going to find you? The next closest thing that they're going to do to find you is type in like funny cat shirt. And like funny cat shirt, over 7,000 results. You're never going to win that battle. You know what I mean? So you're not going to get like residual people finding you from similar generic keywords like funny cat shirt. That's not going to happen. So you have to be more specific. Like people, I think get surprised when I tell them like I stopped putting in bullets and descriptions for my shirts. It's just like with the content policy being as strict as it is, I, I only ever use those if I can't get enough of the most relevant keywords in the title, which is rare. Like typically my approach would be if I'm going to sell this shirt right here, my favorite vet tech calls me mom. Literally what I will tag it with is my favorite vet tech calls me mom. I'm not going to waste space typing in mother's day because you want to see what happens when you search 
Mother's Day slash, I don't know who searches for slash DJ. So let's type in Mother's Day shirt and just show you guys how likely it is that someone finds Mr. Vet Tech or Mrs. Vet Tech from typing in Mother's Day shirt. Here you go. Over 40,000. So did it benefit this person at all whatsoever to include the keywords Mother's Day? No. I, I hate to be a spoiler. It did not. Contrary to popular belief. Now, if we actually do go back to where we were looking at Mother's Day and we saw 40,000 results, Amazon's algorithm still has to determine which of these shirts are going to rank because they're going to show people search results, right? And their algorithm is doing the best it can. And it's also, by the way, it's not set in stone. These can shift and they do. In the like t-shirt section, it's not the same as like doing Amazon FBA products. They noticeably shuffle search results a lot more in the, uh, what is it? clothing shoes and jewelry or whatever they call it novelty i think when you initially click you can see the, uh, the actual category for amazon merch novelty and more yeah they do a lot of shuffling so that is a good uh a good intro and then let me just bring back up this i just released a video so if you guys haven't seen it check it out earlier this week it's the design that took my second amazon merch account which is in my mom's name straight from tier 10 to tier 500 eligibility in one month, all right? They and when I, it, they don't jump you from tier 10 to tier 500. They'll still bump you to 25 first and then tier 100 and then tier 500. But it was, um, and you know what? I'm gonna do this the way I would. Th so I can't remember back to initially when I made this design, like how I found it. But let's pretend that like I just transplanted myself back in time and I'm gonna use the same design process right now. I come to Merch Informer's product research engine which by the way, I'm gonna rebuild. I am a web developer as my day job, so I'm gonna rebuild this on my website so that instead of propping up Merch Informer, I'm gonna prop up my own, I uh, guess I can recreate this and it works the exact same. But it was a girl has no costume. All right, this was the shirt, this was the niche. I gave it up, I let you guys have it if you want it. I mean, it's not like that big of a deal. All right, on Amazon Merch, there are 174 results for a girl has no costume. Now, first and foremost, this is like, you're seeing my thought process. I'm just thinking out loud. First thing I look at is right there. How many results? If it's less than 500, it's probably worth an attempt going after it. Granted, 500 is a lot when they only show 48. They tell you right here, one through 48. Page one is only showing 48. But does that mean you're relegated to page two plus? No, Amazon will give you a chance every now and then. I don't know exactly like how their algorithm works and how it determines when to give a new listing that matches the keywords a chance, but I guarantee you they do. They do. And if you, if, if when you're given that chance, your shirt doesn't get clicked from search results. And by the way, look at search results, 48 shirts. So what's the likelihood of you getting clicked? One in 48. I've done separate videos, by the way, talking about kind of gaming the system. I know a lot of people aren't fans of multi uploads, but when you have a niche that's working really well or a design that's selling really well, uploading it multiple times does not hurt. If you delete a design that's never sold and replaced it with a design in a niche that you know is selling, guess what happens? You probably make more sales. You make more money. It's like, these are things I've picked up along the way, by the way. So I, to me, I'm like talking like it's common knowledge, but like, I didn't know this initially. Like I've been in Amazon merch since I think like March of 2017 was when my first account got approved. And you pick these things up over time. But yeah, take that to the bank. Like that works, I promise. Um, you don't have to upload like 20 of the same design, but I've done that before. And by the way, it's worked. So, all right, a girl has no costume. All, only 174 results. This is not bad. 174 is great. And look at the BSRs. It's not even October. We're probably, what are we like? I'm recording this in June. We're four months from October. These BSRs are indicating sales. Not a lot of sales, but enough. You know what I mean? And guess what happens to these BSRs, these bestseller ranks, when I, when it's approaching October? They dive. Like, I took my mom's Amazon merch account, uploaded the same design to that account that I did to mine, and we both were getting sales. For whatever reason, hers got more. You know, you can theorize about how the Amazon search algorithm works. Maybe it favors new accounts. I doubt it even knows about Amazon merch, and it's probably just luck. Either way, like, we both made good money with a relatively obvious design. I mean, this might even be the one right here. I can't tell. This could be, this could be the one. I don't know. My design looks similar to this. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, guys, this is, let's see if uh, Helium 10 is going to show us the BSR over time. Nope, did not. Um, yeah, guys, you can also check out a heal, uh, an add-on called Helium 10. It's free. There is a paid version, but um, I pro I'll put a link in the description if I remember. But when it runs, and it, it's usually for FBA products. I don't know if it does as well, as, as good of a job tracking print-on-demand. But when it works, it drops a little spark chart underneath the primary image. And the spark chart graphs the bestseller rank over time. So, for instance, like when I go pull up my best-selling T-shirt ever on Amazon Merch, where I sold, I, I made seven hundred dollars royalty in a single day from primarily that design. I think it was like six hundred eighty or six hundred ninety dollars from that one shirt in one day, uh, back in twenty seventeen when royalties were higher. But like I can prove it. The the Spark chart literally shows a bestseller rank in like the three thousands. So, I mean, it's it's there forever. Um, but yeah, guys. So like. This is my thought process. I type in the keywords from Merch Informer, come here, I look at the results, 174, perfect. Next thing, look at the BSRs. These BSRs in the millions, some people might say, oh, it's too high. Guys, if it's an evergreen, I mean, this isn't really evergreen, I guess. This is more slanted towards Halloween. But at the same time, these BSRs are indicating that it is getting a sale once a month or at least like once every five to six weeks, when you're between like one mil and, and three mil BSR, it's it's moving. It's I mean, and, and in October, you can expect the spike, it's gonna come. So go after these types of shirts. Like this is perfect, 174 results. You're only competing with 174 people. It's a simple text design, it's as simple as they come. You know what I mean? Like a sword and some text. You can go to Google and find the Game of Thrones font. It's really nothing to it. Um, and again, it's like this, if you forgot the name of this browser add-on, it's DS Amazon Quick View. It's free. You can get it from Google. I'll put a link in the description. I just, no paid tools needed. You literally just perform a keyword search. Also, you don't need to start your search here. I just think it's best to only be looking at Amazon merch listings. Because another great thing about this is, um, like I remember I wanted to sell like a beer Olympic shirt one day. I thought it was funny. I did this and if you could sell beer Olympic shirts guys, cause that is a shirt uh, niche that sells, you would see more than four search results. So the benefit of starting your search here is that you're going to know immediately when you see like a very suspect number of search results, like four, that these are, this is not a niche you should be entering, whether it's the keywords, the subject matter, you know what I mean? Like Amazon Merch's content policy, if y'all are new to Merch, go read it right now because it's like very strict and they will shut your account down for multiple violations. And wasting an Amazon Merch account is like unforgivable because it's such a great opportunity. So make sure you're familiar with the content policy. Uh, that's really what I was trying to illustrate. Like even if you don't want to read it, start your keyword research here so you only see Merch results. When you see super low results, it is probably like not worth entering. Like every now and then some shirts get through, you know what I mean? Like these four got through targeting beer Olympics. Does that mean that if you copy paste their title into your new beer Olympic shirt and submit that it's going to work? No, just because you see these guys, that does not mean that you can do it. When you see a low number, stay away. All right. Avoid those strikes, avoid the rejections. Cause when they add up, you get banned and uh, nobody wins. Everybody loses at that point. All right. This video has gone on long enough. Hopefully it helped guys. My Amazon merch mini course is live. Go sign up in the description. I am about to launch my Amazon FBA course. I finished up all of the content. I'm working on the like sales material. And um, thank you for checking out this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Questions, comments, feedback, hit me up below. I'll get back to you. If you guys wanna subscribe, I would be very appreciative of that and I'll see you at the next one.